here we are at Maze Bank Arena. I'll just loop around and drop you off. Uh, how about right here? Is that okay? Alright, thank you so much for choosing Whisper Cap Company. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Hello, thank you for calling Whisper Cab Company. We're driving with us is like a dream. Mm hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the International Airport. I will be there in just a moment. You just hang tight, okay? Alright, I'll come pick you up. Mm hmm. Oh, you'll see me in a yellow cab. Okay, talk to you in a minute. Bye. Okay. Alright, the International Airport. Just put in my GPS and I will be on my way. Hmm. Famous shame auditions. Is that where they were going? Wow. <laughs> I wonder if I just had someone uh, famous in my backseat. Or maybe he's going to be famous. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to watch. Keep an eye out for them. Didn't look terribly crowded, so I wonder if that show was kind of dead in the water. I mean, I'm not used to at least watch it all the time. Okay. Maze back right now. Man. Oh. Kind of sounds like thunder. I wonder if it's gonna rain. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to run that light. Yikes. Hope I don't get in trouble. <laughs> okay, here's the airport. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I am not feeling it today. Gotta go get in bed and take a nap. I hope they don't uh, just, oh, hope they don't have to go too far, to be honest. Oh, we'll see. Maybe it'll be a quick job. I don't know, maybe better yet, a long job, and then I can clock in afterwards. Clock out. Come on, come on, come on. I just want to get there. Come on. Thanks so much. Excuse me. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> a little bit of risky driving to wake me up. And, okay. Did they say which time we were gonna be out? Uh, no. I didn't get that. But they said they were flying uh, Air Emu, right? Oh, here we go. Okay. Just pull over here. No way. Hi! Hey! Welcome to Whisper Cab. How's your flight? Yeah? Oh, that's good. So, um, tell me where we're going today. Where do you need to go? Oh, okay. Bayview. Yeah, I know Bayview Lodge. Uh, that's over by the Polito Forest, right? Yes, we do service Blaine County. Um, of course it'll be a little bit more to head over there, but I can absolutely get you where you need to go today. Mm hmm Let me just plug it into my GPS. Okay, let's see. Baby Lodge. That's, um... Tell me if I'm wrong. It's, it's about over here, right? Yeah. Uh... Is it here? Well, we'll see when we get there, won't we? Alright. I'm gonna take the, uh, the scenic route today. So, let me just check traffic clear. Alright, and we are off. Like I heard of turtles. It's <laughs> like my mother always said to me when we would leave on a trip. Oh, speaking of trips, yeah, how, how was yours? Where were you flying in from? Oh, yeah, I've been to Liberty City. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Do you live there, or were you just visiting? Oh, wow. That is pretty... That must be pretty exciting. Yeah? So you never sleeps? Always something to do there? 
Well, hopefully you'll find Los Santos equally exciting. Is this your, uh, is your first time here? Oh. Well, that is very exciting. It, uh, if you don't mind, you know, I'd love to give you some recommendations and things to stop and do before your trip is done. Oh. Alright, well, first rule about Los Santos is that the drivers here are crazy. Including myself. <laughs> so you're gonna want to watch out. Either hire an experienced driver to take you around, or good luck. Hmm? <laughs> well, um, let's see, Los Santos Quick History was uh, founded in 1781, and we currently have a population of about 4 million. Mm -hmm. Now, you're, um, if you're staying out in Blaine County, I don't know if you're planning on doing anything here downtown. Yeah, you're open to it? Alright, that's great. Wow, that rain came out of nowhere, huh? <laughs> yeah, I heard some thunder earlier, so I actually felt that this might happen. We could pick you up just in time, didn't we? Yeah, it's quite foggy, quite overcast here a lot of the time, so if you're into this sort of weather... Oh, yeah, you could be doing some hiking. Oh, that makes sense. You can be out and play the forest. Beautiful hiking to be done out there. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be doing the uh, are you be hiking at the mountain? Yeah. It was really fun. There's a there's like a sky train that that'll take you there and back. I've done it. A lot of fun. Beautiful, beautiful sights. Just unparalleled. Mm, I think you'll like that quite a bit. Well, when you do decide to venture out here, how, how long are you staying? May I ask? Oh, that's fantastic. That is a lovely length of time. Yeah, you should have lots of time to do some hiking and then you can come into the city and do some rest days, right? Ooh. You hear that? Oh yeah, there's a helicopter over us, yeah. Oh, look, they're landing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, look at that. Not every day you see that, huh? That's pretty cool. Ooh. They must have sat down because of that storm. Yeah. So, you know, most people, they, they do the, the classic stuff. They head to Vinewood, you know, they want to do the Vinewood Boulevard. Maybe they go up and they see the sign. Um, I don't know if you're planning on- Oh, I got distracted. Missed my turn. So sorry. Just take a quick little right here. The storm's got me all turned around. Um, yeah, I don't know if, if touristy stuff's your thing. Um, well, these days you can't even go, you can't get too close to the sign. You know, they had too many incidents of people going and vandalizing it. So, uh, you can hike kind of near it. You could get some good pictures. <laughs> but it's not much of a hike hike. You know, like you're going to go do out in Polito Forest. Um, so, um, yeah, my recommendation, you also, while you're up there in the Vinewood Hills, is I would say go check out the Sisyphus Theater. I'm not sure if you're a, you know, an arts and theater kind of person, but I think that anyone, anyone could enjoy it. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And it is right up there in the Vinewood Hills, so you could hike up, you could see the sign, and then you could check out the theater. Yeah, it's a really cool kind of looks like a piece of the past, so I think you might enjoy that. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go around you. Yeah, Sisyphus Theatre, and then maybe after, if you get thirsty, uh, go grab a drink at the uh, Tequilala. That's pretty famous, I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah, Tequilala. And, um, and then you'll be near Vinewood Boulevard, you can head up and down, you can see the, the handprints of the stars and all that. Yep. And then, you know, you can do the, the other stuff, the, the touristy stuff. Go check out Del Piero Pier, go to Vespucci Beach. Um, Del Piero Pier is really, it's, oh, it's a little, you know, it's a little tacky. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit it. But sometimes you like a little bit of tack, you know? There's nothing wrong with that, yeah. So, I'm not sure that's your thing, but I think it's fun to spend an afternoon there. Um, Ride some of the rides, eat some cotton candy, get some, maybe some funnel cakes if you're into that. Yeah. 
Oh, I've, um, I actually haven't lived here too long. Just a, just a, th three years? Yeah, I think it's been about three years. So, I'm no, I'm not really, you know, what you would call a, a local quite yet. I'm not sure how many years you have to live in a place to constitute a local. Well, speaking of Del Pair up here, here it is right here. Mm hmm Yeah, when it's not so uh, stormy and dark outside, I'd say it looks a lot better, all lit up in neon and all that, but it is. I can still see it here. And we're near Vespucci Beach. This is really, again, really beautiful when it's not all foggy and you can actually see outside and all that, but... I mean, this is, this is what it's like. Sometimes you know, the weather is sunny one moment, then it's storming the next. You really never know. Yep, but I moved here a few years ago. Not from anywhere as big as Liberty City, of course, but uh, I did find it pretty overwhelming at first, you know, the culture and the people. Everyone will tell you that the people here are really rude, and that may be the case sometime, but don't mind me. I find that to be not too accurate. I don't know, I think that there's good, there's nice and there's, there's rude people everywhere, you know? I'm sure it's the same in Liberty City, right? You get a bit of a reputation for having rude locals, unhelpful. But, um, as long as you're not pestering people, I think, who live here, you know, bothering them, and then I think it'll be just fine. Like, if you stop in a coffee shop, no one's gonna yell at you, right? But the one stereotype, like I said, that does hold up is the drivers. It is crazy. Um, I know that Liberty City's got a bit of a reputation for the, the gridlock traffic, right? It's not so bad here, it's more just the, the craziness with which people drive. Yeah, there's a lot of road rage say, and I would watch out because people are known to get their firearms out on the road, so, um, you really watch out for that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this, this traffic, this is pretty standard for, like, rush hour, I would say. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a helicopter over there, you see that? Oh, I wonder what they're doing. Seen all kinds of helicopters today. That is wild. So we're leaving the city now. We are, we are headed back into the, into Blaine County. Not quite, but. Oh, what is he doing? Crime. Yeah. Um. It could be. It could be reporting something. We do have a little bit of a crime problem. Yeah. I won't sugarcoat that for you. Yeah. But I'll be honest. Oh, why are we stopping? Come on, let's go. I resist the urge to lay on my horn because, you know, I'm in the company vehicle. <laughs> Alright, as we leave, you know, you'll see, you'll start getting that small city vibe that I think you'll feel quite a bit uh, in Blaine County. Yeah, it's much more foresty, more woodsy. Honestly, I really like it. It is a welcome change from the, the hustle and the bustle of the Rockford Hills and downtown Vinewood area, where I take a lot of, a lot of clients. So I think you'll enjoy that quite a bit. The hiking is lovely. You're gonna love it. No, I, I don't, uh, I don't know the weather forecast for that local area. I will say that you may just have an afternoon thunderstorm and it might be unexpected, so maybe you always have like a little backup plan, you know? In case uh, hiking doesn't pan out one day. Maybe drive into town and do one of those things I was talking about. Are you, are you a shopping person? You like to shop? Okay, yeah, me neither. That's fine. Well, a lot of people do come here for our, for our shops. Yeah, we've got all the luxury brands and all that. It's a bit wasted on me because 
I'm cheap and well with what I make, you know, driving taxis, I'm not going to be able to afford a lot of that anyway. I do rely on a lot of tips from <laughs> customers. Sorry we can't see the ocean as we are driving right next to it. It's a little bit foggy to be able to see, but it does seem to be clearing up slightly, so... Oh, look, there we go, some wildlife. Yeah, as we leave the city, you'll start to see more and more wildlife. I do want to warn you, um, I did hear a report about some cougars at the lodge, or near the lodge area. I don't want to scare you away from staying there, but just be on your guard. I'm sure that you're very experienced, and I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. You know, there's other people around. Here we go, heading into Polito Bay. Did you see the sign? Okay, we're gonna go over this bridge now to Plato Bay. Oh, do you see that sign for Fort Sankudo? That is the big military base up ahead. Do you see it? Let me see, I'm just gonna smear out these people. Yeah, no, don't mind. Yeah, lots of mysterious happenings there. Of course, there's like a lot of conspiracy theories, you know, people wondering what they're actually doing up there. A lot of people think it's got something to do with aliens, which I think is just kind of ridiculous, but no one's ever been able to get close enough to find out. If you ever hear anything, you gotta come back and tell me, okay? Look at that, the rain cleared up. Oh, what an absolutely beautiful sunset for us to enjoy. You are lucky indeed. I think we should get there just before it gets too terribly dark. You should be able to see enough to get settled. Wow, that is seriously a gorgeous sunset. I'm really glad that you got to, to see this. It's a nice little welcome to Los Santos present, isn't it? Welcome to Blaine County. The landscape's very different here, isn't it? I honestly hardly ever get a chance to come out here. Almost never get to drive out here, so uh, thank you for the opportunity. It's been really nice. I do love that small town vibe. I come from a small town, so... It can be... I can get a little homesick and it can be kind of nostalgic to come back to a place like this. I call these clouds uh, cotton candy clouds when they're all pink and blue like that. Stars dotting through. That's so lovely. And I got a bunch of bikers up here. Here we go. Blaine County, Polito Bay. We are almost there. Are you, are you falling asleep back there? <laughs> well, you know why they call it Whisper Cab Company. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. You see right up there? You can see the little building where the, um, the Sky Tram stops. You see way up there? You're gonna be up there soon, aren't you? It's an amazing view. Absolutely amazing view. You can see even all the way down to the city, you can see the skyscrapers and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry it is taking quite long to get there. I thought that maybe I could get there before dark, but... Uh, what is- what is happening? What are we doing? There's a, look, do you see that? There's a dog running down the road and this guy's running after him. Well, I mean, you really- you never can tell what's gonna happen here. Oh, meanwhile, everyone else is getting ahead of us again. Just another day in San Andreas. <laughs> Just another day in Blaine County. Oh, this guy is looking at me, swerving, he's zigzagging. Where did that dog come from? Did you even see that dog? He came from nowhere. I don't know what these bikers are doing, but I gotta get around them. I gotta get away from them. Alright. We're entering Polito Forest now. There's a lumber yard here, and... When, this is the uh, this is the tram, right here. You see the lines going over us. Mm-hmm. So you're really close. 
not sure which is the turn for the lodge, but I'm gonna try... Let's see... Oh, did I go past it? I think I went past it. Maybe I'll swing around. Take a... Take a left here. Can I take a left here? I'm sorry, I tell you, I really don't come down here often. Let me see if I can turn around right here. It's getting so dark, so hard for me to see where I'm, what I'm doing. I'm going. Oh, is that a dog? What was that? I hear a train. But yeah, there are some, uh, there have been some reports of some weird animal sightings around here. Some of them, I don't know if it's cougar or, or what. This isn't a turn. Where are we? This is a dirt road. What is that? What is that? Is this a dog? Where are all these dogs coming from? Huh. Wow. <laughs> You're getting like a little uh, wild safari tour. Oh, here we go. Now, what's the best way to get over there? At least I'll know for when you need me to pick you up, right? Are you gonna call me? Have you pick- have you, um, pick you up, take you back to the airport? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Alright, let me see if I can pull into their parking lot. Okay. You gonna stay in one of these lovely little- Little rooms. It's a cute place. Do you need any help with your bags, or or do you got it? You got it. Okay. Well, I I know it's it's nice and dark out now, but I uh, thank you so much for choosing Whisper Cab Company, and I hope that uh, you were able to enjoy the relaxing ride enough that you can fall right into that bed and fall asleep. Yeah. What you got planned tomorrow? Are you heading out to do some hiking tomorrow, or are you waiting a couple days? No? Right at it? Bright and early? You better get inside and get some sleep then. Well, thank you so much for choosing my cab company. Yeah, and I hope you, you give me a call. Here's my, here's my personal number. You can call this number if you want me to come pick you up and take you back to the airport, okay? I can't wait to hear all about your trip. Oh, oh, thank you so much. That Oh, that's really sweet. You are an excellent tipper. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, you get inside, get some rest. Alright, well, I'll see you in a few days. Okay. Ooh, how do I get out of here? Okay, let me just back up and make sure no one's, no one's on the road behind me. Okay. Gotta get back to the city. Whew. I had no idea that would take so long. Didn't think traffic would be that bad, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's time to head on the clock out. I cannot be bothered to do another job today. It is just too late. Did not think when I woke up today that I would be heading all the way to Blaine County. But you never know what kind of day it's gonna be. Was not expecting that storm either. Come on, come on! I just want to get home. Let me go. Let me go around you. Driving too slow for Los Santos. Gonna tuck myself into bed. On a nice warm video, maybe light a nice warm candle, get my favorite blanket, get nice and snuggly and comfy. <laughs> Another successful day at the Whisper Cat. sky above me. What time is it? Gosh, it's late. I think I'll just sleep in tomorrow. Yeah. I think I'll sleep in tomorrow. I think I'll go for a Yep.
I think that the roads are clear, but mine at least. Kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Here we go. Back to Fort Sankudo. The tunnel. Is that another helicopter? I don't know what they're doing over here. Maybe aliens indeed. Who knows? wonder if we'll ever find out. Starry sky tonight. It's pretty lovely. Mm, another three miles to go. Making pretty good time because I can drive as fast as I want on the way back. No one's monitoring my speed. <laughs> I can become one of the reckless Santos drivers. have a fun time hiking and all that. Personally, this time of year, hiking, it's too hot. That seems pretty miserable to me. I'd rather wait until the weather cools off a bit, but uh, to each their own. I've never been much of an outdoors person anyway. I'd rather sit in the nice air-conditioned car. Stay nice and cool. I'm one of those darn bikes. Too many of them. Well, it's been a nice drive at least. Nice evening. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. Another day, another set of challenges, but also another day of fun and being alive. So I'm gonna head off to bed now. I hope they got off to sleep well. And I hope that they uh, have some good dreams tonight, you know? Yeah, I hope everyone has good dreams tonight. <laughs> the lights of the city. So lovely. Everybody, 